and it's telling me there'll be better days what's up Amazons? welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a video i've been wanting to do for a while and it's a tutorial with the huda beauty naughty nude palette so my camera's been broken they went $200 just for me to send it to them to look at it to see what's wrong. So I apologize ahead of time. I probably won't be uploading as much as I usually do the next couple of weeks or at least however long it takes to get my camera fixed. And I apologize that I won't be able to zoom in as much as I do with my camera in this tutorial, but I still wanted to do this look. I tried to film it before, but then I didn't have enough room on my phone to edit that plus my unboxings so I'm just gonna try it again but a lot of you commented on my makeup in that video so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna start out with filthy right here this light like, purplish mauve with this SL Miss Glam SS57 brush So I actually talked about this in the video that I recorded, but is now deleted. Um, I, if you guys have been around my channel for a minute, you know I'm a Huda Beauty whore. Like I have probably all of her eyeshadow palettes. I don't watch her channel, but I love her eyeshadow palettes. But I did want to watch the launch of this palette because I wanted to hear about the inspiration behind it and if you don't know the inspiration was she was talking about how even as a married woman she was ashamed to talk about her sexuality like in front of her friends or family and I think that is something that women you know struggle with a lot like we don't want to be show ourselves as sexual because then we'll be deemed sluts all right, next I'm gonna go in with, let's go in with Juicy. This light brown down here. And this is, I believe it's a Morphe R38. And I know for me, like, I mean, I was a sexual youngster, I'll say that, but I, wasn't like really concerned with myself. I was more concerned with pleasing the other person. And as I've gotten older, I have completely flipped the switch on that situation. Cause now it's like, it's about me. It's about me embracing myself and my sexuality. And yeah, it was bad. Cause I was ashamed of my body and I could never like relax during sex. So I was never able to like just completely lose all my inhibitions and enjoy that moment because I couldn't get comfortable. Because I wasn't comfortable with myself. All right, now I'm gonna take this Real Techniques like packing blending brush and let's go in with naughty this dark brown and put that in the outer third of your eye just kind of pack it on there and then I swipe from the outer corner inwards and then slowly bring it into the crease and turn my brush to the side I have an idea um, for this look that I didn't do the first time, so I'm hoping it turns out good. Oh, but like the whole hype about this weird looking shadow in this palette, like it's, I wish you wouldn't have put it in here. It's like not an eyeshadow, it's literally like Vaseline. Like I was using it on my lips. <laughs> I 
All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this NYX eye pencil in purple velvet and put that on my lid. All right, so now I'm gonna take a flat synthetic brush, this Morphe E10, and we're gonna go in with Passion. This really cool like duochrome color. And the plan is for that purple, oh yes, to make it pop. And it sure did. You guys see that? It sure as hell did. All right, now I'm gonna take a pencil brush and go in with Untamed, which is kind of like a maroonish brown, or just a dark maroon, and put that in the outer corner and blend it in with that lid shade, which is stunning, by the way. Hmm. You know what? I might add some of this spicy here as well, this dark brown. Yeah, I think that's what I needed. All right, now I'm gonna take some Fix Plus and put it on a little dish and then go back in with that lid shade, Passion. Oh. It's even more beautiful. Now for the lower lash line, first I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs eyeliner in Jazzberry and put that in my lower waterline. And then I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with, unt no, I'm gonna start with Juicy actually. Now I'm gonna go in with Untamed, that maroon. And blend it all out. And you shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey. You turn yourself around. Okay, so it does not have anything I can use as a highlight shade. So, I'm gonna use my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in pearl. All right, and I'm just gonna put a small band of liquid eyeliner on. I'm gonna use my Benefit Roller Lash. Curl my lashes. And I'm gonna use this Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. And then I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup. But I want to show you the lashes I'm going to use. I just have to go grab them real quick. I'm going to be using these Icona lashes in I See You Boo. Ah! Oh, okay. 
really cute. All right, so I will be home. Okay, so this is the completed look. I'm just gonna freshen up my lip and then also so I can show you what I use as a lip. So to line my lips, I used this Appeal Gel Liner in, I can't see the name anymore, but it's just like a nude lip liner. Then I use this Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in Sugarcane. I love this. I did put some NYX Butter Gloss on over, but I actually think I'm gonna keep it like that. I really love that lip color. So yeah, this is the completed look. Oh, and I think putting that purple base down underneath that shadow, really made such a big difference. I am in love with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please let me know how you feel in the comments down below. And I love you guys. Stay safe. I will see you next time. Bye.